my name is Emilio Frazzoli. I am a, a professor of aeronautics and astronautics at MIT. Um, I recently started a company called Newtonomy uh, with my colleague Carl Gagnemme, who is also a research scientist at MIT. The company really started two years ago as an outgrowth of our consulting business. Um, and we have been working with a number of um, automotive OEMs and uh, tier one suppliers to uh, essentially transition our work and our expertise on autonomous vehicles uh, to the market. For most of my career, um, I worked on um, unmanned aerial vehicles. Uh, nowadays, um, most people call them drones. Uh, this is a very popular uh, um, you know, area, research area. Um, I've been doing that for about 10 years. Uh, then in about 10 years ago, um, uh, when there was the time of the DARPA Urban Challenge. There was a robotic competition for self-driving cars, for autonomous cars. And I started taking an interest in that field and applying a lot of the techniques that I had learned and developed uh, over the years and applied to, to, to the aircraft uh, case. I found the, the automotive domain actually very interesting, uh, especially because after a few years that I was working on that, primarily on the technology development, I took a step back and started thinking about what is, what is the potential impact of this technology? How will this technology change uh, the world? And if you think carefully about it, <laughs> the answer is actually quite surprising in the sense that I really think that this technology has a big potential for a very profound impact on our lives. Essentially, there are a number of reasons why autonomous cars are being, um, you know, developed by many players in the industry now. This is a very common topic, and you, know, you see, you read about autonomous cars almost every day in the news. Typically, the arguments that people make are about uh, increasing safety. Uh, by um, so, as we all know, most of traffic accidents are actually due to human errors. You remove the humans, you remove the errors. At least this is the idea. Then is the um, you know increasing you know convenience uh, so that you know if the car is driving I can text to my heart content legally things like increasing um, efficiency in a city of traffic in a city reducing congestion reducing environmental impacts these are all great things however all of these features will not change the way that we think of cars and the way that we approach personal mobility. I think that the killer app for autonomous vehicles is enabling car sharing. Car sharing at the level of convenience that is essentially the same as owning your private car, but the sustainability of public transportation. Most of us who own a car, uh, we uh, use, um, in these cars cost a you know, big chunk of our disposable income and yet they sit somewhere 95% of the time. And usually this somewhere is a pretty expensive piece of real estate. So we actually pay for the privilege of not using the car that costs us so much money. So clearly this is not a sustainable model. Especially if you think of a situation where you have a car that is actually able to drive itself. If the car is able to drive itself, why leave it parked in the garage? Let it go pick up somebody else, drive somebody else, uh, you know, about their business or, you know, go back home, you know, take your children to school or, um, you know, take your wife to, to her job or, um, you know, or anything that you can imagine. But also you can think of a car that you're actually sharing uh, as a transportation infrastructure that everybody can use.